So Omegal died, right? Devastated. How do you feel about that? It's really hard to find pedos without Omegle. <laughs> well, they they shut down because they got another lawsuit, right? This is the main thing. Was it? Yeah. At least. So. Well, because they got a, they got a lawsuit from a f- woman who uh, was suing them because she, at 11 years old, was matched with somebody who was like in his 30s, and then he was a a pedo, and he was a he harassed her on the internet for three years. He afterwards. harassed her on the internet for three years until so she was like 14, 15, whatever. And um, so now I think her, the, that woman's family is uh, suing Omega, and that made them shut down. That made them then be like, all right, we're filing for bankruptcy and we're quitting the whole thing. So Omega is now, because they, they had they had previous um, suits against them, against I mean, with, yeah, it's with the same exact, the same exact. It's basically like harboring pedophiles. Hmm. Which obviously there are other aspects to Omegle and it makes it really fun if you're, you know, lighthearted about it. Mm-hmm. But there are so many pedophiles on it, it just... Yeah, I saw the um, the, uh, the statement from the creator of Omegle and he said that uh, he attempted to make a website that would bring the, like, the randomness and the but the, the randomness and what is what is the word I'm looking for? Like um, the cre- not the creativity, but the experimentalism, I guess, of the internet. Like I, I can't remember what exactly what he said, but he wanted he want he was he really liked the oh random person. Now you're talking to a new person in a random part of the world, and he said. But that being said, he's like that brought on all of these people that would commit heinous crimes, and we can. He's like I can't rec- I can't mm-hmm. praise my website without also putting down the fact that it was definitely a platform where people could expose that scenario. Um, so he so he made he put that statement after, out after that they shut down. I don't and even know how you moderate that. You can't that's the thing that's what he basically said is you can't he couldn't there was nothing he could have done yeah. whereas not without taking away the charm of the website from the best place. Yeah, the whole charm of the website was oh, click on a button you're you matched with a random person and yeah. half the time it was somebody jerking off and half the time it was just like four you know, three 14 year olds sitting in a room. So most of the time those people would be matched with each other and that was a problem. So Aka said, I haven't looked into the, all this, but I would say in general, the one to blame is the pedo stalker on the platform. Like all the stuff can happen on Discord also, mm. Insta and on Twitter and even YouTube. I think- Isn't that what the um, the creator of Amigle was commenting on mm-hmm. as well? Yeah. He was kind of saying that, but also the fact that they shut down and the fact that they have all these lawsuits makes me think, what is stopping people from suing Discord? What is people, what is stopping for, for yeah. not, because Discord, allegedly Discord monitors <clears throat> all of their, uh, their uh, group chats, don't they? Well, Discord monitors all their servers, mm. right? Yeah. They, I mean, that's what they say they do. So when things like that happen, I mean, when, when, when people take advantage of people and stuff like that, then there's a very easy line to be drawn of being like, oh, I blame Discord for this, for being able to um, allow this platform to be taken for this, yeah. allow this to happen. I guess. But then, you know, that's really just inhibit social media in general. Yeah. I mean, clearly that can't be where the blame should be placed. Right. Because Discord is just a messaging client. Yeah, Discord, that's what, Discord's no different than iMessage. They're just the medium people use, you know, even without social media, there are still going to be people that prey on people. And, and that's why you create shows like To Catch Predator <laughs> and you hire Chris Hansen. Catch Chris Hansen. <laughs> yeah. He went after Anision and I don't think he found anything. Yeah, he friend. fell off after he came yeah. back online. Yeah. Um, my opinion, I feel like, and I don't really like this idea, I feel like being able to like ID people for usage of internet would solve a lot of problem. Mm-hmm. But don't you get into the net neutrality discussion? Right. <laughs> there. Right? Don't you? Of being like, okay, the internet, the whole point of the internet is to have that anonymous mm. Um, communication to be able to communicate with people online and not have this structure of owned by the um, FCC and and controlled by 
the way the same control that is controlled by media and Hollywood and um, news. I feel like if that were the case and we had to ID everybody that made these accounts, I feel like we would lose a lot of people. You know, there mm -hmm. are people, in, you know, including people that are very special inner circles who aren't necessarily public about their usage on the internet and their communication with random strangers and we'd probably lose them. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, that wouldn't really work out. Mm -hmm. But and I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go with this. But I also want to say that Aka just said that net neutrality means something different than you think it means. Has I think just FYI. So I'd appreciate Aka if you would enlighten me. Actually, in the don't comments. please don't enlighten him because I don't so, want this to be the rest of this to become a pointless discussion on semantics between no. <laughs> between want, person want... with voice access and Aka slash Koos in the chat box. We need to move on, all right? Immediately uh -huh. move on. It doesn't matter. I would appreciate Aka to enlighten me. Let him do it. He keep it to the DMs. Exactly. Seriously, like, DM, DM about it later. DM, DM. <clears throat> I, DM I him. appreciate. If it's not important. It's not an argument. I just, I just think, I think it's, I think it's interesting how he thinks that I'm, on <laughs> and how he thinks that I am not educated in a topic that he <clears throat> clearly is majorly educated in. So I'd appreciate yeah, yeah. his uh, enlightenment. So please I'm just, go on. You know, sure, baby. I've spent too much time listening, like watching Arco just go off in the chat box about bullshit just because he likes to make arguments. <laughs> and yeah, you study it. You study it because I'm not educated in the topic, clearly. And you are. <laughs> so you must be educated in the topic. So. Paz is ramping up to <laughs> passive aggression. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've spent too much time watching him go off. I've spent too much time arguing with him, and it's just not worth it. Because in the end, it just comes down to semantics, and it's pointless. Mm. Actually, so. actually, Peach, I do like that idea. Like, if if we can like keep our identity anonymous, right, but still have to provide it to like a system <clears throat> where it not necessarily governs, but like moderates it, right? Then let's say a report happens, and then a person will look at that report, you know, confirms, and then lets the AI know if this is like okay or not. Yeah. I feel like AI would be able to track that person down and then hold them accountable for stuff that they do that is not good. I feel like that would solve a lot of problems. People wouldn't get involved with your identification. I have no clue, dude. I am so, <laughs> <You're> so... wasted. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. This is not the intention, I promise. 